fitness here. Uh, I'm going to do, I believe today, a full day of eating. Haven't done one of those in a while. And since I'm back to um, cutting in preparation for us to go to the Arnold Classic in March, which is about eight weeks out. So I'm going to try to drop some of this weight that I put on over uh, the last, uh, I don't know, what, what did he book for? Maybe like three, three, four, five months. It, it was it was really uncontrolled, unwatched, monitored bulk, which is not what I suggest, by the way. But it is what it is. We're here. Um, this morning I was 213 pounds. Right now, macro goals are around 2,000 calories, 18 to 2,000. I like to do a range. I don't like to do a specific number. I found when I do a specific number that I get real fixated, and if I go just a little bit over, uh, I mentally am like, oh, well, that day was wasted, even though 1805 is just as good as 1800 or 1850. Like, it's really not going to make that big a difference. But anyway, so goals are around 18 to 2,000. Uh, around 120 grams of carbs, about 80 grams of fat, 75 to 80 grams of fat, and about 190 grams of protein-ish. So that's the goals we're hitting today. Right now, um, I did not train this morning. I had a wisdom tooth taken out yesterday afternoon about 4 o'clock. Um, so I didn't get up and train this morning. I will probably be training this afternoon, um, but it'll probably be a really light accessory like leg day. Um, and I may use the next couple days. They said they said I could weight lift, but not to try to like lift real heavy. And I'm like, what's the point? Anyway, so since they said that, I will go do some cardio and I'll do some light um, kind of accessory work for each muscle group the next three three days or so. And then I'll kind of use it as a deload week. And Saturday, we'll get back on the regular training schedule. Some coffee. And yes, guys, I do track, I don't track coffee, but if I use creamer, I do try to track it. I did show on my Instagram story. And if you're not following us on Instagram already, make sure you go do that. Uh, learning to live underscore fitness. We are very active on there and you'll get a lot of like day-to-day -day updates. But anyway, yesterday I showed this. It's just Kroger brand, but it is sugar free. So per serving, which I use about a serving and a half a cup. So it's really not that great. I should probably just drink black coffee, but I'm a little too basic for that, to be honest. So anyway, one serving is 30 calories, two and a half grams of fat, two carbs. is no protein, but it is uh, no sugar. So I sweeten it with stevia, of course. So, but that's the coffee. I'll probably have, let's see. For this morning i'll probably have like three maybe four cups so worth of this i'll probably have a couple hundred calories which to, to some may seem like a waste but when i when i don't train in the morning and i drink coffee because see here's the thing when i train in the morning i don't usually drink coffee because i've had pre-workout already which depending on which one i take is between uh, 250 and 400 milligrams of caffeine, so I really don't need any coffee. Just so you guys see, I put it on there and zeroed it out. And then poured what I needed and put it back on there. So 7 grams. Serving is 5 grams, so like I said, I use about a serving and a half a cup. Um, that's that. And this I do not track. I just kind of dump it in there. And I like my coffee sweet, so anyway. Hey guys, so it's lunchtime. We are about to uh, make, so I have some stuff prepped already. I'll show you. Have some turkey burgers in here. I have broccoli already prepped that I prepped this weekend and then I'm gonna make a sweet potato I'm not gonna eat this whole sweet potato I'm probably gonna split this between uh, lunch and dinner today um, just so you know 
quick uh, tip I wanted to give you guys about sweet potatoes or potatoes in general. I don't know if you know this already or not, but if you want to bake potato but you don't want to wait like an hour and actually bake in the microwave, just get you a store bag, poke some holes in this bad boy, microwave for five to six minutes depending on the size of the potato, and boom, it's like a baked potato. I'm gonna do two of these because I want to save this for another meal, so it's gonna be 4.2 ounces of turkey. I'll just put these together. Boom, meal prep. Look at that. Meal prep done. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. So there you go that's lunch i'm gonna eat this um chill for about an hour or so and then we're gonna be headed to the gym um, also for lunch i'll probably have an mts brownie after this um, but i'll show you that guys if i make it so catch you in a little bit all right guys so i'm gonna make a protein brownie i'm gonna leave for the gym here in just a few minutes after i eat this um, so i just wanted to go over this recipe with you real quick if you've watched the channel for any length of time or followed us on instagram you've seen this before but I'll run through it real quick so number one key is going to be mts nutrition machine wave available links below uh, this is the red velvet flavor it's definitely one of my favorites to make these brownies with um i'm drinking in a shake and it's good but with a brownie it literally is just red velvet cake with 25 grams of protein i mean it's crazy really so you got one scoop of that quarter teaspoon of baking powder and then a quarter cup of whatever milk choice you want. I just use skim milk. Um, I know I've seen a lot of people use almond milk works fine. Um, I just use skim milk because that way I don't have to buy several kinds of milk. And this is really one of the only things I use milk for. Um, every once in a while I have a bowl of cereal, but that's few and far between, especially when I'm cutting because, of course, most cereals are very high in carb. But if I do choose a cereal... Kashi Go Lean cereals. I've had the regular, the chocolate, the honey oat one or something like that. They're all really good, so you want to, might want to check those out. Um, but just track it, because a serving size is smaller than you think it is. But anyway, I'm going to make this real quick, then get my pre-workout ready, and head to the gym. And guys, quick tip, always start with a little less milk because you can always add a little bit more if it's too dry. But I'm going to show you the consistency of what you're looking for. All right, consistency we're looking for. All right, so all we do is put this in the microwave for about 35 to 40 seconds, depending on one, your microwave strength, two, uh, your consistency. What I like is the outside kind of gets a little bit baked like a cake. The inside stays a little gooey and um, kind of like sludge consistency. And I use it as kind of just like um, icing or whatever. So that's how I kind of like it. But So I'm going to put this in here and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So you see how the middle is still a little bit soft? If you go over here to the outside... It's literally just like cake. It's delicious, guys. Seriously, links below for the MTS Red Velvet. Just real quick, I'm going to make my pre-workout. Show it to you guys, just because it's not an eating video per se topic but i like to show you what i'm using so pre-workout like i said earlier clash is my favorite also stack it with vasky links to all this is in the in the description um, but one scoop of each like i said with clash you don't have to add any creatine it's already fully dosed in there and beta alanine so you're good to go and then you're ready to rock and roll with the gym so i'm gonna go to the gym 
Uh, may or may not get any footage, just kind of depends on uh, what's going on. If I do, I might try to throw some of it in here. If not, uh, maybe a whole separate video. But either way, we will see you at the next meal, probably post work. Alright guys, just finished up at the gym. Didn't get any recording because as I sit here, my phone is being plugged in and it died on me. So, yeah, I really, I really should buy a camera for the YouTube channel. But anyway, hopefully with uh, continued support, we can invest in something like that so that these vlogs can be better and days of eating can be better and workout videos better, etc, etc, etc. Because we want to grow and be able to provide the best content for you guys that we possibly can. Anyway, uh, since we're doing a four day of eating today, just want to let y'all know, having my shake right now, two scoops of MTS Whey, I'm having uh, peanut butter cookies and cream today. So, yeah. And headed home, we'll catch you guys at the next meal. Hey guys, real quick for dinner, nine ounces of chicken, 166 grams of sweet potato, serving of peanut butter, and that'll be dinner. Alright guys, to finish off the macros for the day, we have a serving of this Carb Master yogurt, which is similar to Greek yogurt as far as macros go. Real low carb, low fat, 12 grams of protein per serving, and 100 grams of these frozen blueberries. I mix this up, put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes or so. Super good. So, like I said, finish off the macros around... Uh, 1850 calories I believe about 130 grams of carbs 50 something grams of fat 190 something grams of protein I'll put the totals up here on the end um, but appreciate you guys for watching as always like comment and subscribe